Abdurrahman ibn Auf an, accompanied the Messenger of Allah when the Messenger's son Ibrahim was dying. And so when the Prophet saw his son Abraham take his last, last breath, tears started coming down the eyes of the Prophet. And Abdurrahman ibn Auf said, Anta, Ya Rasulullah, you, you. And the Prophet said, It is Rahmah. And then the Prophet said, The eyes may shed tears and the heart may make us sad, but we never say except what pleases our Lord Allah. How are you going to deal with the death of your loved one? The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, gives us the perspective. Three things follow the dead. Ahluhu, his family. Wamaluhu, his wealth. Wamaluhu. For Yarjuth Nani, two goes back. Or Yabkol Wahid, in one stay. The family, they go back. You're there in the grave, alone. And when they bury and put the dirt upon us, they go. The wealth, it goes. And the only thing in that grave is our deeds the good and the bad that remains you see we have two things number one we're gonna die number two we don't know when we're gonna die the famous hadith 40 hadith relayed by Abdullah ibn Umar he said, the Prophet took me by the shoulder and said, Kun fi dunya ka Be in the world as a stranger or traveler. This famous hadith. And Abdullah ibn Umar used to say, Ida am sayta. And when you reach the evening, don't expect to reach the morning. And when you reach the morning, don't expect to reach the the evening and let me tell you this every day you live you go a step closer to the grave it's gonna happen the question before us this morning as I as I leave what are we gonna send before Allah said Quran don't die don't die do not die except as a Muslim, don't die. And the Prophet said, Innamal Ahmalu Bil Khawatim, your deeds shall be judged by your last deeds. Don't tell me that you got in a race and you run in and you headed everybody. Don't tell me until you come to the finish line. Allahumma la aisha illa aisha al-akhira, the Prophet said. There is no life except the life of the hereafter. What is this life? Getting caught up with this dunya. What? What can they offer you? The key is have your faith in Allah and what he's going to give you.